One bright side for the Romney Ryan campaign to all the talk this week about a legitimate rape and forced childbirth and how much Paul Ryan is like Todd Akin. One bright side of Todd Akin providing a window into the soul of Republican rape and abortion politics this week is that it pushed out of the news cycle the story of Mitt Romney's tax returns. You want to know what came up again in today's news cycle? Mitt Romney's tax returns. Uh, Gawker.com published 950 pages of documents they say are associated with Mr. Romney's investments. We have not verified that these documents are what they purport to be, but they purport to be internal audits, financial statements, and private investor letters for some of Mr. Romney's investment vehicles. They include eight entities Mr. Romney apparently invested in that are based in the Cayman Islands. Now, why base things in the Cayman Islands? Well, these documents spell it out in pretty clear terms. They describe how Cayman Islands entities are typically set up to avoid U.S. federal taxes, and they say that under current Cayman Islands laws, the entity doesn't have to pay taxes in the Cayman Islands either. In which we, we, we should note, this is an entirely legal arrangement, but it does tell you exactly why somebody would put their money in the Cayman Islands. And it would also tell you why that person might not want to answer questions about putting money in the Cayman Islands if they were, say, running for president of the United States and not running for president of Lens. Uh, we have known this for a long time. From the one year of tax returns Mr. Romney did release, we know that some of his investments were offshore. And we know that offshoring stuff in the Caymans is one of the things you do to avoid paying taxes. But now we've got this trove of documents at Gawker putting in black and white the tax avoidance benefit of what purports to be Mr. Romney's money being in the Caymans. And yeah, you know, this is the story that the campaign has been hoping to push out of the news cycle all summer long. They probably thought they finally did it with their announcement of Paul Ryan as the vice presidential nominee two weekends ago. But honestly, that only worked for about a day as a distraction before everybody went back to asking about the tax returns. Then this week, there was some respite. The news cycle did move on to Congressman Todd Akin and to Republican policy on abortion and pregnancy and pregnancy's connection or lack thereof to rape. But now, now, if we are moving toward anything else in the news cycle, it seems that we are moving back to Mitt Romney's taxes. There's no proof here published in these documents today about what total amount Mr. Romney paid in taxes. There's no smoking gun about anything that appears to be illegal. The documents aren't even proven to be from Mitt Romney's investments. But he does have Cayman Islands investments, and this explains why a person would want those. And the reason why is tax avoidance. We also learned today that as of this weekend in Parade Magazine, which comes out on Sunday, the Romneys are going to unveil a new explanation as to why America does not need to see any more of their tax returns. Thank you very much. According to excerpts released by the magazine ahead of publication, Mr. Romney will explain that he does not want to release his tax returns because he does not want to talk about the money he gives to his church. Quote, one of the downsides of releasing one's financial information is that this is now all public, but we had never intended our contributions to be known. It's a very personal thing between ourselves and our commitment to our God and to our church. You know, this particular thing used to be the thing Mitt Romney most wanted to talk about with regard to his taxes. He didn't want to tell you how much he made or how much he reported or how much he paid in taxes or how he avoided paying what normal people pay in taxes. The only thing he wanted you to know about his taxes was that he gives 10% of his money to his church. The Bible speaks about providing tithes and offerings. I made a commitment to my church a long, long time ago that I would give 10% of my income to the church, and I followed through on that commitment. Mitt is as honest. His integrity is, is just golden. We pay our taxes. We are absolutely beyond paying our taxes. We also give 10% of our income to charity. Over the past 10 years, I never paid less than 13%. And if you add in, in addition the amount that goes to charity, why well, the number gets well above 20%. He's a very generous person. We give 10% of our income to our church every year. They keep bringing it up. Hey, I pay 10% of income to my church. But now that specific information, which the Romneys keep volunteering to the press, we're now supposed to think that information is so private that it alone must preclude the release of their tax returns. Listen, it's either the thing you want us to know or it is the thing you don't want us to know. You have to pick one. Maybe you'd prefer if we just go back to talking about abortion?